The long-standing ban on the importation of New Zealand apples into Australia, because of fears the bacterial disease fire blight would decimate the Australian industry, has been in place ever since an outbreak of the disease in the 1920s was blamed on New Zealand apples. New Zealand industry has always maintained that in spite of fire blight, it produces three times the amount of fruit per hectare of anyone in Australia. But 90 years of debate have failed to resolve the issues. In August 2010, the World Trade Organisation ruled in favour of New Zealand. According to Trade Minister Tim Grocer, it was a stunning victory. It was estimated then that the free access into the Australian market would give New Zealand growers about 5% of the market, worth about $30 million. But while New Zealand has won this battle, we haven't yet won the war. Australian growers are furious that Biosecurity Australia is going to relax the protocols surrounding the importation of New Zealand's apples. The greatest load of crap I have ever heard, Apple and Pear Australia Chairman Daryl Ashton is reported to have said. An absolutely stupid capitulation, says Fruit Growers Victoria Limited General Manager John Wilson. John Corby, Chairman of the Fire Blight Task Force in Australia and also Biosecurity Spokesperson for Apple and Pear Australia Limited, says they certainly don't agree with it and they will continue to review their options as an industry. You know, very dangerous precedent that puts our industry at a risk that we don't have at the moment and uh, we don't believe we should be put in that position. But John Corby says ultimately there is little they can do. So whether Australian consumers buy New Zealand apples or not, that's, uh, that's the only step left and uh, you know, the mm. most likely outcome of that is that uh, some New Zealand fruit will come into this country and therefore our risk will go up. John Corby says the respective pip fruit industries have a good relationship with the exception of this issue. It puts strain on it. We're adults, uh, we'll, we'll deal with it as we have all the time through this. We'll put our position, we'll put it strongly and anywhere we can to protect our industry we'll have no hesitation in doing so. Pip Fruit New Zealand's Peter Bevan says Australian growers were never going to be happy with any changes to the rules which saw New Zealand's apples allowed in. There was never going to be any pleasing the Australian industry and they were always going to be up in arms. Um, with any revised import risk analysis, and that's exactly what's happened. So there are, there are absolutely no surprises about this at all. Peter Bevan says market protection has played its part. There's absolutely no doubt this has been market protection for a long time. I mean, I know a number of people in the Australian industry pretty well, and, um, you know, in unofficial circles, they've always known that we were going to get apples in, and they were always going to fight as long as they could to stop it happening. Peter Bevan describes the whole dispute between the two industries as a real irritant, and says now that he hopes the two industries can move forward together. But it will be 2012 before trade begins in earnest. Benedict Collins, Country 99 TV News.